Hey, what's happening? Happy Tuesday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and freaking early. It's 3.30 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, today's video is from the heart. I've been doing more of these lately. These videos aren't memorized. I, I, I get in front of the camera. I, I've been looking over the news feed for a couple hours, and I, I found no solid story that I want, really wanted to talk about, but there's a few things bothering me. And eventually, I just decide to talk from my heart. You know, I, I get in front of the camera, and I just let it flow, what I want to say. Uh, it's not memorized, so sometimes these videos come out great. Sometimes, uh, I still think they come out good, but they might be hard to, uh, you might have to watch them a few times to get what I'm saying. All right, let me start at the very beginning here. After I made yesterday's video, I had issues during the day. Uh, it bothered me. This doesn't happen often. I've never delete, deleted a video. But yesterday, I started thinking about it. I was not proud of yesterday's video. The reason I wasn't proud of yesterday's video is because after a couple hours later, the dust kind of settles. Uh, you know, when I first watched these guys, Wooza or whoever, whatever his name is, the Nick Fuentes fan, after, after I watch his videos, I, I get upset because of uh, just the, the off-the-wall uh, prejudice things this guy is saying it's just you know but then I, you know I realize that's what he wants that's what people like him want and uh, and I fell for it and I attacked him and it was an attack video you know and it, it really to just, I'll just be honest it was it's I considered it when I thought about it later about six eight hours later yesterday yesterday afternoon it was below my standards I was embarrassed of the video yesterday uh, it was just one guy, me attacking another guy. R really, that's all it was. You know, I, I hate I hate saying that. I hate admitting that, but that's what it was. I'm embarrassed of that video. I've told you guys flat out before. Uh, sometimes I struggle to get views, and I know that when I talk about Nick Fuentes or the the far right, I get views. You know, and it just didn't feel right yesterday. It really didn't, and I did it for the wrong reasons. And I apologize to you guys. Uh, by no means do I agree with these guys. I think they are ab abhorrent, uh, the worst that America has to offer. But I fell for it. I really did. And you know, I, me attacking somebody I don't know is just wrong. It's just you know me bragging about myself, putting down somebody else. That's that's really not who I am. And I apologize to you guys for it. All right. The reason this, and I, I felt like this all day yesterday, and then this morning I watched a video by Trump Jr., and he's attacking John Fetterman. And, you know, it, I swear, I, I believe in karma, I, I believe in, you know, the un, you know, the universe, you know, there's, the universe gives you signs, you know, if you look for them. And this was another sign, and this is one of the videos that just stuck out this morning. John, uh, Donald Trump Jr. talking about John Fetterman, making fun of John Fetterman's stroke. Uh, the link will be for that, will be down below. And uh, let me just go over quickly what, 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 what Trump said about John Fetterman, first of all. The thing that I didn't quite understand is Trump, at first, he said, Junior, Trump Jr. says that Fetterman doesn't have a real disability. He, I, I actually looked this up, the links will be down below. And uh, having a stroke, a stroke does cause disabilities, the inability to write or to talk. And then uh, he, he, at, one, one, at one point in the video, he calls it a disability. And then later in the video, he says it's not a disability at all. It's just, it's just John Fetterman's brain uh, being mush, like worse than... Joe Biden's, you know, what, he, what he's saying that, you know, that in other words, he's, he's making fun of uh, Fetterman's just overall intelligence. He's, that's what he's saying, that he's just, you know, he's just stupid. And this coming from the son of Donald Trump, I've heard, you know, Donald Trump talk about airports in 1776 and just other things that are staring at the sun, staring at an eclipse, you know, and I hear this guy talking about not having brains, you know, but it really bothered me too. And, uh, I was kind of iffy about talking about this, but I will. Audrey, you know, my, my, my girlfriend that passed away, my ex-girlfriend that passed away uh, on August 5th of 2021, a little over a year ago. Uh, my best friend, 
her father. I don't know if he'll he'll be okay with me talking about this, but he is one of the he is one of the most intelligent men I've ever known in my entire life. Um, he's Lithuanian. He moved here to America. They moved here to America with nothing, and uh, he worked his way up. He was, he became a man a mecha, a mechanical designer, mechanical engineer, and uh, he did a lot of mechanical design. He actually had a lot of patents, and he had a stroke. And uh, Audrey, oh, you know, told me before I met him that he had a stroke, and sometimes, you know, uh, his speech he gets frustrated because uh, you know your speech center is affected. And I, I had never, I had never in all the years that I know him, I never saw any evidence of it. But Audrey was very cognizant of it. I never noticed it. And this is one of the smartest guys, either before the stroke and after the stroke, that I've ever known in my. In my my entire life, one of the most driven, motivated, intelligent men I have ever met in my entire life, you know, and I hear Don Trump, Donald Trump Jr. just grasping at straws, making fun of uh, Americans that have had strokes, you know, calling their brains mush and stuff like that, and I, I actually felt a little embarrassed, I mean, I didn't go to that length of the video yesterday, but it was me having an issue with somebody else's beliefs and making fun of his hair, the way he looks, his skin, uh, his ability to, to attract women. Uh, and it embarrassed me. It really did. Uh, I'll put the video down below. Uh, Donald Trump Jr., he, he, he kind of pivots. He, he goes from, I don't, honestly, I don't know what he's saying. Again, Donald Trump Jr., even Donald Trump Jr. calling somebody else Telling, saying that somebody else's brain is mush when he's obviously under the influence very often when he does these videos. I could spot somebody under the influence and believe me, Donald Trump Jr. is is taking more something or more than something, more than one thing. But that's not what this video is about. So I want to apologize for yesterday's video. You know, I, I still, I, I think, I think Wooza or uh, Noble, whatever his name was, is, is abhorrent. But, uh, I really, you know, I, I was really looking for views. I was really looking to troll, and it, it, it's below. It's below my standard. It's below what you guys expect of me, and uh, I want to apologize for that. But check out the Trump Jr. video and uh, uh, talking about Fetterman. If you can make sense of what he's saying, I don't know. He's basically, and then he, he starts talking about suburban housewives too. Woke, you know, and it's, it seems stupid of him to say this because there's so many suburban housewives that who vote out there. And, you know, and, and he's, he's, he's trolling them saying, yeah, you don't have to be woke. You don't have to vote for John Fetterman. And, uh, and you can still be woke if you want, you know, and he's using, he's using my, my, uh, my air quotes too, uh, Watch the video. Anyway, the main thing I wanted to say is uh, the video yesterday was below my standards, and I apologize to you guys for it. Though I still think Wooza is a... I don't agree at whatsoever with his thoughts or his politics, but that gave me no right to, to mock him. All right, check out the John, Donald Trump, uh, Don Trump Jr. video down below. Have a good Tuesday.